Good evening, everyone. All of you, by being here tonight, are making a strong, strong statement. Three years ago, when I got involved with this movement, someone in the State Department told me, you shouldn't do this. This is just a cult, and it only has about 2,000 followers worldwide. Well, let the State Department officials come here to Paris tonight and see the breadth and the numbers that are here and the passion and the commitment of the people in this room. And the world should know that the people of Liberty and Ashraf are a proud people. Military commanders have told me that when they needed to be, they were fierce warriors. We know they're great builders because they built an incredible city on their own. We know they're great artists and musicians because all of us have heard incredible concerts by a band with women and men sitting side by side playing beautiful, beautiful music. These proud people deserve more, and as you know, the United States government, over a decade ago, signed a contract with each and every one of the residents of Ashraf and Liberty, saying that if they disarm, we would protect them. But then the U.S. government turned over security to the Iraqi government, to the government of Iraq. In 2009, that government, the Maliki government's own forces, attacked the people of Ashraf, a bloody deadly attack. And the State Department issued a statement condemning the attack. But nothing changed. In 2011, it happened again. Another bloody, brutal attack with the government of Iraq federal police using U.S. vehicles and U.S. weapons. And worst of all, there were American forces right outside Ashraf, and two hours before the attack, they were ordered to retreat. And after the 2011 attack, the State Department issued a statement condemning the attack and calling on the government of Iraq to do differently. But nothing changed. And then the United Nations, the State Department, and we, the American friends of the MEK, we convinced the people of Ashraf to move to liberty. We told them that the UN and the US and the government of Iraq guaranteed their safety at liberty. Let the record show we misled them. We misled them. There's been no attempt to guarantee their safety. In fact, the opposite is true. The government of Iraq has prevented them from taking common sense safety measures, T-walls, protective armor, to protect themselves. And again, death has resulted. We saw an attack in February, a rocket attack in February. And when the rocket attack happened, the State Department issued a statement condemning the attack and calling on the government of Iraq to investigate. Nothing happened. And then the attack of June 15th occurred. And the State Department issued a statement condemning the attack and calling on the government to, of Iraq to investigate. Colonel West Martin said to me, Asking the government of Iraq to investigate those rocket attacks would be like asking the gangster Al Capone to investigate the St. Valentine's massacre that his people did in, in Chicago. It's ludicrous. It's a joke. We know who sponsored those attacks. Iraqi Hezbollah said that they launched those attacks. And they said, we're going to do it again. Their commander said, our security operations are conducted upon the guidance of al-Maliki and Khomeini. Case closed. No investigation needed. The Iraq government and the Iran government are the sponsors of the attacks on liberty. And if that isn't enough to cause the United States to act, I don't know what is. Now, after the June 15th attack, I sent an email to a friend of mine who's high up in the State Department who I bombard with emails about this issue all the time. And I said to him, I said, time to get them out of liberty. How many more have to die before the State Department does something? He sent me back this response. Governor, let's talk. 
The department is working on a solution to the problem. And I sent him back another email in which I said, thanks for getting back to me, but the only plan is to get them out of liberty. And I know there is some desire for us to be able to persuade the department to move them back to Ashraf. And that's better than staying in liberty. But the residents of Ashraf and Liberty, they had the word of the United States government, a legally binding contract that we would protect them. We have no choice, and we're going to make this as clear as can be to the State Department, and we're going to keep... We have no choice but to live up to our obligations. They are strong, they are steadfast, they've sacrificed a lot. It is our duty as Americans to do this. We gave our word. Let's honor our word.